Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the fastest and cheapest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. We have Team of the Week, Week 2 being released later this afternoon. Don't forget, Team of the Week is no longer at 2 or 2.30. It's pretty late. Team of the Week is going to be at 4 p.m. Eastern Time every single Tuesday, so that's when you should kind of expect these to be in the game. Now, I do want to give a shout-out to Braylon for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout-out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Nota Gang. And also, guys, we do have more NFL games this week, as well as Thursday Night Football. So if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. And I'll probably even run some private drafts later this afternoon versus you guys for this week's NFL games. So if you want to get in on those, follow me on Twitter. Use code ZERK. Let's get into this. All right, so let's talk about the content schedule real quick, guys, because we do have some information about Gridiron Guardians, and then I also have some other updates to go over with you before we get into the Team of the Week cards. So... James Bradbury, I know a lot of people, you know, got their house rules done and didn't get their Bradbury. They're rolling those out later today. As for the AK re-rolls, I know there was a lot of talk about those. They have heard our feedback about AK re-rolls. So that's kind of all the info I have there. Who knows if that means we'll get them for the next release on next Monday. I don't know. And then missing XP is targeted for Thursday. So for those of you guys who have been missing XP from the competitive pass, which is everybody, uh, then yeah, that is targeted for Thursday. And also guys, some information about the content schedule. You guys can see Grand Iron Guardians there. We didn't know if it was going to be Thursday or Friday. You know, promos recently have all been on Thursday. Well, it looks like maybe promos this year are just going to be all on Thursday because... Again, it's a Thursday promo. So a little bit weird to not have like promos on Friday. I feel like it's a good way to end off the week, but I guess they like Thursday promos for some reason. So Grand Iron Guardians coming out on this Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so I would expect that tomorrow morning, maybe they'll do like some reveals for Grand Iron Guardians. So if you guys have any predictions, I guess comment them down below. I might make a prediction video tonight for Grand Iron Guardians, but we'll just have to see about that. But let's get into these cards. You guys saw Team League 2 last night. If you watched my video, I did go over the card. However, there's some new info we know about the card now. He actually does get set feet lead for three AP. So he does have generic three release, which this year, last year was the second quickest release. This year, it's kind of like the fourth or fifth quickest release, I believe. So it's not bad. It's definitely usable for sure. You know, Ryan Fitzpatrick also has generic three. Uh, Jalen Hurts had generic three. It is noticeably slower then you know Bledsoe then Aaron Rodgers then those guys but can it be used yes absolutely so Tua definitely looking pretty pretty solid right there now getting into the other cards though the low set piece we have Rashad Bateman right here with 85 speed uh, we have Jalen Watson with 84 speed 86 acceleration Garrett Wilson coming in at an 84 overall with 85 speed I know Jets fans are gonna be really really excited about this one he had a monster week absolutely monster week for Garrett Wilson we also have Preston Smith 84 overall with 78 speed and 85 acceleration 80 block shit, 83 power move and then getting into the 87s guys we have a monra st brown which i gotta say okay those of you guys that watched pack and play last year in madden 22 a monra st brown was an absolute monster for me on that team so i am hoping that in the next episode of pack and play we can pull this man 86 speed 85 jumping 86 catching traffic 87 short 85 medium 82 deep route running yeah, I'm a big fan of Amon Ross St. Brown. I gotta say, he is definitely gonna be a monster for the Lions, and uh, he won me some money this week on Underdog, so shout out to Amon Ross St. Brown. We also have Isaiah Simmons, which he does get Lurker for 2 AP, 87 speed, 88 acceleration. He has 91 hit power and 86 zone. So this is actually... You know, not a crazy, crazy middle linebacker, but like, is it usable? Yes, 100%. He's got good speed, good hit power, uh, decent zone coverage. The only thing I'll say is like the block shed strength. Obviously, that is not very good. And uh, it is 2 AP lurker instead of 1 AP like you can get on, you know, Ray Nitschke if you power him up and also on Derek Johnson. So like if you have the coins for those guys, obviously you go with them. But if not, if you want to use a middle linebacker, Isaiah Simmons, definitely solid. Now getting into the Team of the Week heroes, though, guys. Remember this, okay? I'm going to have to say this every single week because I know people are going to be very, very confused. The LTD is not from this year. It is just from week two, 
okay? The LTD is not from 2022, but it's from someone who had a great performance in week two of a previous year. And the same thing for the other heroes. Obviously so. You guys know Ochocinco is not in the league anymore. But 88 speed, 91 jumping, 87 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 93 spectacular catch. Pretty crazy. 87 short, 86 medium, 90 deep route running. I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like they disrespected him a little bit with that route running. Because Ocho most certainly is a great route runner, right? So... I feel like they should have made this card like 90 short route running as well to kind of entice people a little bit more to pick them up. Uh, is it a good card? Yeah, absolutely. Ocho Cinco is definitely a very good card, but I don't really feel like you get Ocho Cinco to kind of use him as like a Randy Moss or like a Calvin type receiver, which is kind of what looking at this card you would think he is, right? With 93 spec catch with the 90 deep route running, 88 speed. I'm kind of getting that vibe off this card, and Ocho's not really that type of receiver, and he's not, you know, 6'4", 6'5". Ocho Senko is only 6'1", which 6'1", is definitely still pretty good, but there are just a lot of good, like, tall corners, tall DBs in the game right now that I don't think you can really use Ocho like that. So, we'll see on that, but I definitely plan on picking up Tua and Ocho for the gameplay, and 100%, I plan on picking up my man Demarcus Ware for my team 87 speed 86 acceleration he also has 85 strength 90 block shed and 90 finesse moves so of course as a cowboys fan right i am extremely extremely excited about this card now is he better than like lawrence taylor well i tell you guys this every single year that lawrence taylor kind of just plays different right regardless of his actual stats he just plays different but he has 85 speed d has 87 84 acceleration for LT, 86 for Demarcus Ware, power move and uh, finesse move, he has 88 power move, 85 finesse move, whereas the Ware has 90 finesse move, 87 power move, and then the block shed uh, is only an 87, and d -Ware has 90, so... You ask me, I am definitely going to be picking up Demarcus Ware over Lawrence Taylor today and uh, definitely doing a gameplay as well. And as to the LTD guys, I'll be honest, kind of, again, like a lackluster LTD in my opinion. Like, it's definitely a solid card, right? But I feel like to really, really juice the card up, the zone should have been higher. Like, it's got 89 speed, 91 excel, 88 zone, 90 hit power. But in terms of, like, name value, who's excited and, like, gets super up if I tell you? Yeah, the LTD today is Jordan Whitehead. Like, some people probably may not even know who Jordan Whitehead is uh, if you're not that big into the NFL. And the LTD, guys, is not from 2022. It is from a previous year's week two. So he had a really, really good week two uh, a couple of years ago. But, I mean, like, overall, the card is solid. 89 speed, 90 hit power, 88 zone. But I wish that they would have boosted up, like, the zone coverage a little bit. But overall, like, you can't really be too mad at it. Uh, he does also get, I want to say, one AP enforcer, they said. So, I mean, maybe I'm hating on the card a little bit too much. It's pretty good. So those are the team of the week, week two cards, guys. And as I did say, these cards will be coming out later today at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And I guess I'll make a Gridiron Guardians prediction video like much later this afternoon. Uh, I definitely plan on doing a gameplay with Demarcus Ware, with Ocho Cinco, and with Tua over on Xerxes 2. So make sure you guys sub to Xerxes 2. And that gameplay will be out quite later because unfortunately team week doesn't drop till four so it kind of makes me have like this like weird gap in the day where uh i can't really do anything but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it hit that sub button down below check out underdog fantasy and follow me over on twitter and get on those private drafts later today if you guys enjoyed this video check out these